It would probably help if I came here and turned your audio on. There we go. Now y'all can hear me. What's up, everybody? It's Dr. Fat Body. I am here with Keith Rom. Hello. He's going to do Pokemon Crystal. This is the boy. You know what I'm saying? Zaddy's going to show us what's up. <laughs> so do you want to explain real quick? So do you want to explain like, real like, quick before the run? Just like, like what's up with the randomizer, how it works? Okay, so... Okay, so pretty much just... Pretty much just it's it's Pokemon in the wild, the moves that Pokemon learn, the Pokemon on the trainers, they're all randomized. Uh, some, the, the names of the trainers are randomized and stuff too. Like, other than that, everything's about the same. Like, it's the same same story progression. Uh, you know, the super effective typing is still going to be the same, but like, basic stuff is randomized. I was thinking about doing an Uber, but then I was like, I can't give you an actual estimate on how soon I'd be done if I did that. <laughs> For sure. Well, everybody, sure. you know what I'm saying. Be sure to well, show you some love throughout the event. Uh, some love throughout the event. And I'm going to. And get you I'm ready going on to get you ready on a countdown. Just a moment. Whenever you are good, okay. I am Whenever good. Whenever you are good, good I am good to go. Do you want you like me counting now? Sure. All right. So in three. All right. So two, in three. One. Two. Go. One. Go. Neat. Neat. Apparently, there's echo going on right now. Outstanding. It's, it's probably because I'm picking up desktop audio and then we got Fat Body's audio too. Uh, he's probably out now though. But uh, like I was saying, uh, this is a randomizer. So not everything's going to be the same. I'm also using a modification of the game. It's called Speed Choice. Um, it's really, really handy. As you can see, I have like instant text and stuff, hold to mash. I have my input display up just so you can see what the hell I'm doing too. Uh, completely on console though, I am using a flash cart with this ROM, but I am on my Game Boy Player. So on and so forth. Also, this webcam's huge, holy shit. But, so the premise of this is we're gonna go through the game, we're going all the way to red, so we're getting all 16 badges, we're beating Elite Four, that's the best poke that's on the table, I guess. Um, let's see. Oh, it's a girl too, oh shit. We're probably not running this, but I do use Game Boy Interface, yes. Game Boy Interface is lovely. For those of you who don't know what Game Boy Interface is, um, it's it's basically homebrew that uses the Game Boy Player hardware, but gets rid of the Game Boy Player software. The software sucks ass. Oh, still double audio. Fat body, save us. But yeah, so the premise here is we're gonna get all 16 badges, we beat the Elite Four and we beat Red. Uh, so we're going through this main area of Johto, we're going through the Condensed Kanto. Um, the fastest way to do it is to have one Pokémon be your main. You have a couple Pokémon for like HMs and whatnot. Yeah, those of you that are having some audio issues, you might still have my stream up in the background, so that might be what's going on. So like I said, we are using a modified ROM of this. Uh, we're actually able to buy Pokeballs early. We could buy repels and stuff early, so that first Mart's actually a really, really handy one, unlike the regular game. So in terms of what I'm looking for in a runnable Pokemon, I haven't even looked at your moveset yet. That is not good. So, I prefer a physical attacker, but special attacker is fine. Physical attackers are the best in terms of uh, speedy progress in Gen 2. Yo, Wiggly Woo, let's go. If you got, if you got my emotes, I want to see keys of W in chat right now. But we're looking for good stats and great move pool. Uh, we would rather have a really good move pool with like an average Pokemon as opposed to like a god Pokemon with no moves. So far, we have found jack shit. Um, also, since I see uh, GDQ being mentioned in chat, friendly reminder that I will be running the vanilla version of this game at SGDQ. We're going to be doing Pokemon Crystal Glitchless there. Uh, this marathon that we're doing right now is to help raise money for some other runners to make it to GDQ. We want to make sure that they get there, they get their runs done, they have a good time, so on and so forth.
Oh, nice. <laughs> but yeah, so we, we found nothing so far. This Venusaur really isn't that good. Something to keep in mind that a lot of people may or may not understand when it comes to Gen 2 of Pokemon is your attack stat is determined by your gender ratio. So Venusaur is a 1 in 8 to be female. So because of that, it has the lowest 1 in 8 attack, which is 0 to 1 DV attack. If you don't know what a DV is, a DV stands for determinant value. In in Gen 3 and later, they're known as IVs. So if you're familiar with IVs, that's what DVs are in this game. But instead of 30, 30 to uh, 0 to 31 in IV, it's 0 to 15. So I have either 0 or 1 DV attack. Venusaur is not really a physical attacker to begin with, but that's really shit. <laughs> Like, we're gonna get past the rival fight just fine, but, like, we, we definitely need a different monster. The mansion's gonna be dope as hell. I mean, like, a really good example of, like, a solid Pokemon is, like... Um... Like an Ursa Ring or a Tauros, like those would be really good choices. Stantler and Giraffe Rig are also pretty solid. Uh, obvious choice would be like a Mewtwo, Zapdos, that kind of stuff. Uh, rival, rival, what's our rival? Um, how about Mixer, because we're on Twitch. Uh, we, we didn't really see anything on Route 29 that looked good, and uh, we didn't really see anything on 30. So I'm gonna actually go a little out of my way, check out 45, or 46, excuse me, see if we can find anything good. Uh, this Venusaur can get us past, like, the first 10-15 minutes, but it's not gonna get us that far. It is really not that good. Its coverage really isn't that great. Um, we're also gonna get an opportunity to see some other things since we're gonna go out of the way for this item. Sometimes the items are really good. Like, the items are randomized as well. Uh, Hitmonlee is something that could be good. We're gonna check that out. We're looking for a solid moveset from him. That is not solid so far. In fact, that's awful. I'm not convinced, but you never know. Let's name him Bruce. It's Bruce Lee. Let's have some fun with this. Okay, Tiny Mushroom sells for some money, so that's not a terrible item. Let me check that here. Came with a TM. TM's Ice Beam! Alright, so the Venusaur might actually be kind of usable. This thing sucks ass, but it does have Teleport, even though I wanted to go to 46. We're just gonna do this. We're just gonna hope and pray that 31 has something good, otherwise we're gonna stick with this Venusaur. Crunch Ice Beam is pretty solid. Uh, we also have Pin Missile, which isn't that great. This Umbreon's getting really annoying to run into. Please, I'm always nice, Sean. Eat my ass. Dude, we can't find a damn thing, this is awful. Uh, uh. Alright, let's just hope and pray that there's something good on 31. Oh look, something that Ice Beam would easily kill. If only I had taught Ice Beam already. So the biggest reason I haven't taught Ice Beam yet is because I'm not committed to this Venusaur, but I mean, we might just do it. It does learn moves soon. So some other modifications you're going to see to this, um, stuff that I turned on and off because this, like I said, this is a custom ROM. Trying to learn Thrash, I mean that sucks ass, but we'll teach it anyway. Uh, so spinners are just rotators, so they're easy to dodge. I turned off the rocket sequences, so other than Slowpoke well, like we don't have to go to the radio tower, we don't have to go to rocket hideout, that kind of stuff. Now, hopefully, we have 
We have a few places we could still look. We got 31, which is right in front of us. We got Dark Cave, which is to our right. Um, there's Route 36. And if we're desperate enough, there's the Ruins of Alf and Sprout Tower. Hopefully we just find something here, though. Mantine! Cool poke, shit to run. Oh, that's a nope. It might just be the Venusaur at this rate, boys and girls. Rapidash can sometimes be good, but Rapidash is more of a physical attacker, and since that's a female, uh, Rapidash is 1 and 2 to be male, 1 and 2 to be female. So that could be as low as 0 DV and as high as 7 DV. That's not convincing enough for me, so we're going to keep moving on. If I had a Pokemon with Rock Smash, we could look for the Rock Smash rock here. Rock Smash produces a level 15 Pokemon, so that's already a huge advantage. Alright, Muck can actually be good. Muck has a surprisingly good attack stat. So, we're gonna see if he... Okay, Stomp's a good start. That's horrible. <laughs> well, guess we're not running him, huh? Son of a bitch. I mean, he could have he could have three out of four good. He's back. Can we just try again. Let's just try again. Maybe he doesn't. Maybe he doesn't cuck us. Uh, nope. Okay, his move set's terrible. All right, let's look for a different poke real quick. Uh, it's it's Captain Crunch's oops all muck right now. But all right, well, uh, <laughs> so something that this ROM does is it has quote-unquote better encounter slots. So every ground area has seven total slots. There's two slots at 20%, two slots at 15%, and three slots at 10. So the fact that three out of four encounters so far has been the muck is just embarrassingly bad. This place sucks. We're moving on. We might just run the Venusaur at this rate. Who knows? I really don't want to run the Venusaur. All right, we're gonna we're gonna check out a handful of places real quick before I like commit to this. Expected time is around an hour and a half to two hours. If we had a hotter start, then I'd be a lot more confident on that first bit. But because we can't find a main that I'm satisfied with, I'm gonna lean more towards like the 145 range. Hopefully, it doesn't take that long though. We're in a hurry. Okay, if that has a decent set of moves, then we're Gucci, because we're guaranteed... Uh, endure, why? We're guaranteed Surf later. Alright, well, he, he has three other moves. He has three other moves. Starmie's a good Pokemon. Hopefully he has good moves. We can teach him Ice Beam. Ice Beam's dope. Show me the money, buddy. I'm... maybe. So, Fire and Ice have really similar coverages, so having Flamethrower and Ice Beam is pretty close to redundant. Um, Starmie is not a physical attacker, so I don't want a physical Starmie. Uh, we would have Flamethrower, Ice Beam, and Syrup. Kingdra! Kingdra's a solid choice, especially in Randomizer. Only has one weakness. All right, well, as soon as he hits that, Fat Body's dead. Uh, <laughs> okay, Sweet Scent's an interesting move. It's a field move where you can produce an encounter right off the bat. So if this thing sucks, then we're just going to go to Ruins of Alf and use him to catch something. But hopefully that's his only bad move. Blizzard, Sweet Scent, Rock Slide, Pedal Dance. Um, we're gonna use Sweet Scent a couple of times. Otherwise, I might just run to Kingdra. Kingdra's always a safe bet in randomizers in general. He's got pretty solid stats. I personally don't like Blastoise too much to run, but we'll see what he has. All right, he's killing us. All right, we're dying. All right, you know, talk shit, get hit. Am I right, boys? <laughs> Oh, I have Teleport. I should have... Hmm. 
Pretty sure I didn't enter the center. I'll look for one or two more different slots, and if nothing's good, then we're gonna force the Kingdra. And that's a terrible start. Alright, there's one last area we can look. There's one last area. So we're gonna go to Sprout Tower real quick. Now let me tell you, boy howdy, this has been bad. <laughs> this has not been a good look for our young hero. Now typically when I do a randomizer of crystal, we do bingo races. If you've never seen a bingo race of any game before, it's pretty self-explanatory. You have a bingo card with a bunch of goals on it and stuff. Fuck off, mate. Starmie's everywhere. Starmie's mad we're not running it. Now, Houndoom can be really good, actually. I'm gonna take a peek, see at what it has. I mean, I would prefer male because it actually... No, nah, already bad start. Alright, we're just gonna run the Kingdra! <laughs> what a waste of everyone's time. Nobody has anything worth a damn. So a lot of people like Ampharos, but in terms of finishing a game, Ampharos is not the best choice. Unless it has a really solid moveset. But uh I for one am not too keen on it. So we're gonna play we're gonna play a little game here. Alright. This is a fun game. This is a fantastic game. I love playing this game. It's called Whoever Beats the Level 9 is our main. Solid game. Boy, what a game. So we're going to try to give Kingdra experience here. So the idea is we're going to put it up front, we're going to send things out to die for it. We try to weaken the Hitmontop, which is a bulky Pokemon. This is lovely. Alright, so Bruce is going to die. Bye, Bruce. Bone Club! You're dead. What is even the best choice? You know, honestly, Nightshade is the best choice in this case, which is sad. Wow, you sure exist. Wow, you sure suck. All right, well. <laughs> All right. We, uh, we in there, I guess. So I'm uh, I'm still not committed to anything. I'm not going to teach Ice Beam quite yet. There's one more play we can do, which is get past this gym, get the Fishing Rod, and fish up a level 10 Pokemon. I'm still not sold. The Venusaur is not that good, but we could teach it Ice Beam. The Kingdra would be better. Um... Dear Diary, today I was hit by Boner Rush five times. You gotta be. Well. 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 Fantastic. Fantastic. So, yeah. Press 1 in chat if you hate video games, because I sure fucking do. Son of a whore. Okay. Now, let me, let me weave the tale of how I'll, we're just gonna die. <laughs> okay. We're just gonna die a horrible, horrible... We're gonna get a ton of experience and live a very happy life. Hell yeah. I take back everything I was just... Oh. Crit? Oh. Crit? Oh. Crit? Oh. Crit? Oh. Ah! Ah! Alright. 
So Blissey gives the best amount of experience out of any Pokemon, so we're just gonna get like two or three levels casually from this. So all of a sudden Kingdra looks really, really- okay, four levels. Kingdra's trying to learn Pin Missile. I mean, it's better than Sweet Scent. We take that, I guess. Ah! Kadabra, just in time. Pin Missile. Alright, Kingdra's the main. Cool. Still not gonna teach Ice Beam yet, though, because we're gonna do that fishing strat and see if we find something slightly better. In terms of randomizers and stuff, your best bet is a normal type Pokemon. Because normal is busted. You get Headbutt really early, you get Strength to supplant that. Like I said earlier, physical attackers are usually a little better than special attackers in terms of finishing the game. Especially when you consider the fact that Swords Dance exists, but nothing to boost special attack as much as Swords Dance exists in this game. There's Tail Glow in Gen 3, but there's nothing like that in Gen 2. Gen 2 just has growth. Growth is one stage, so it's not really worth teaching. You could just buy X specials instead. The TM was Rolling Kick. Hey, we do have a Miracle Berry, so... I'm gonna skip this Paralyzed Cure. Now then, the benefit of those early shops is about to come in. I was able to get early repels. Normally you don't get repels until the next town. We're just gonna breeze through everything, no big deal. Pick up this item in hopes that it's money, because I want to shop again soon. It was not money. It sucks. Not money. It sucks. Man, this seed is cheeks! I am none too pleased. Now you're gonna see a frame perfect pass because I'm a god gamer. I'm doing this specific movement. And he does not see us. If the repel wear off text doesn't pop up, then you frame perfect hit him. If the repel text pops up, then you frame perfect dodge him. It's actually kind of funny. Alright. We're gonna ask this old man for his rod, no big deal. We're gonna deposit, uh, we're gonna deposit Starmie. We're gonna deposit Bruce. Anybody who wants to see Fat Body get used as an HM slave, well, here we go. <laughs> so we're actually gonna turn around, because there's two different, uh, there's two different sets of encounter slots for fishing. So we're gonna, we're gonna hope. We are gonna hope. That's awful, we're not running that. Alright, we have one more chance, otherwise we're just sticking with the Kingdra. Kingdra's not bad! Especially if we teach it Ice Beam, because like it's more accurate than Blizzard. It's a little weaker, but we get 10, 10 uses of it instead of 5, so on and so forth. But uh, it's, it's, it's not looking hot for your mans right now. I want a Tauros, or a Stantler, or a Grand Bull, actually, yes. Okay, so... Grand Bull is an interesting poke, so as I said earlier... Nah, that's bad. Uh, as I said earlier, um... The attack DV is based on your gender ratio, so... Earlier I was mentioning how female is typically not a good choice for a physical attacker. Well, Grand Bull's 75% to be female, so this could still be a top-tier attack Pokémon. BUT IT SUCKS ASS, SO WE'RE NOT GONNA RUN IT! Ah, oh, fucking damn it. We could run it if we really wanted to. We have Rolling Kick and then we get Headbutt not too terribly long after this, but I don't... I don't know, man. Hmm... I don't know. I don't know. This TM will determine it. There's a TM- oh god. Nice bonk fest. There's a TM over here. If it's a good TM, then maybe we switch to the Grand Bull. Please be a good TM. We don't- we don't find out for a little bit, but... Now, I know some of you might be thinking, oh man, he picked like a, he picked up an experience share, that's good. No, it's it's gonna be sold for money, we don't need the experience share. 
We're not cut. We need as much experience on our Mon as we can get. Now this is another one of those frame perfect dodges. Well, you know, I would have done it twice in a row, but I bonked on him, so you know, no big deal. Getting a friend ball. All right, so here's hoping. I'm gonna keep that for now. Wow, we have like no money. Now we have money. All right, we're running the Kingdra. We are running the Kingdra. <laughs> uh huh. We are running the Kingdra. So if you see me enter a Pokemon Center like that, that's just because if I wipe, like if I just completely lose out on everything, then we end up at the last center that we were at. Sometimes Slowpoke Well can be a massive bitch. So we're doing that for safety. Alright. We're committed to the Kingdra. So Ice and Electric is perfect coverage on the special side, and Kingdra's mixed. He can go either physical or special. So, this Kingdra is good, to be fair. I wanted to run the... the wanted to run the dog, but uh guess not. I'm also going to clear my inventory out a little bit here. And even though this is only for five, it's more for the sake of clearing out inventory. We're saving once, just because I'm in the menu. And now we're just gonna blitz. Kingdra will serve us just fine. We'll get Stab Surf later too, so like, this Kingdra's gonna be just fine. Be easy. This game's easy! It's so easy. We're- we're fine. Calm down, chat. We're fine. Easy. Would I have run to Starmie? Uh... <sighs> I mean, I had the Ice Beam TM and I wasn't gonna run the Starmie. The problem with the Starmie is it's not mixed. So it's like, even though we got perfect coverage with Ice Beam and uh, T-Punch, um... We'd be super reliant on those moves, and that Blissey, if we stuck with the Starmie, then we were pretty much screwed on that Blissey other than using Slash. So the Kingdra overall is just the better choice. Um, it's definitely not my audio, friend, because I have literally zero audio on my end. I am in no Discord calls. I have no music going. Got nothing. Literally nothing. I don't even know why I have this headphone in. Steel is physical. Ow. Ow. Absorb's annoying, because now he might live on one. Okay, good. Okay, so Frustration is a fine move early on, but it gets significantly worse later. And we got Headbutt around the corner. Thank you for the good luck, Mizzle. Welcome to Dr. Fatbody's stream. Also, to anybody that's in my chat still read the damn stream title and go there. Mm. 
<laughs> nice movement. I've just been the beacon of excellence. I am the excellence in execution right now. King is pretty solid. King just kind of boring though. So, fun history lesson when when crystal randomizer races were first like really popular. One, they were to lance and they were not to red. And two, Kingdra was like the most commonly ran thing. I don't know why. It ended up like that, but like almost every ROM had a decent Kingdra, and there is a few days in a row where I ran nothing but Kingdras, so I'm kind of just wiped on Kingdras. Uh, there isn't really a threat to this Kingdra with this moveset and its typing. The only thing that's really gonna hurt it is Outrage. Uh, Dragon Breath can be annoying, but like other than that, like. We're not really going to run into any issues, because the only weakness is Dragon. And there's Outrage, there's Dragon Breath, and there's Twister. And that's really about it. But Kingdra's bulky enough to most likely not die to stuff. So like, unless I'm weakened, then we should be fine. Also, nice randomizer, Metapod, on the Bug Leader. You know, I should have used rocks, but we did not. Well, oh, that sucks. That also- oh, fuck off. Didn't flinch, missed, yada yada. We crit, whatever. I mean, Hyper Beam or Exploding Bear isn't a Kingdra exclusive problem, that's just a problem. I mean, that's just a problem, period. Now, Rival 2 in vanilla is typically considered the hardest fight in the game. Which is a, a fair a fair assessment. Rival 2 is bullshit in basically every Pokemon game. But since this is the joy of randomizer, we don't really know if it's gonna be a difficult fight or not. Our special attack is ass cheeks. So Kingdra has equal physical and special attack. So the fact that we're only level 18 and there's already two points of a difference, that means that our special is like at most a two or a three. Oh, for God's sake. Yo, it's that Draco Dan guy. I heard he did a shit job early. Oh, it's that Raikou guy. I heard he also did a shit job. Well, no, you didn't talk shit. Raikou did a fantastic job earlier, guys. Let's give a round of applause to Raikou. Dude, eating ass is great. I love ass. Alright, that's actually a really fantastic item. When we go through the Elite Four, <coughs> which is Elite Four plus Champion, that's five trainer fights in a row, so that elixir is really gonna help us later. Hi, Gooby. Same, my I haven't had a single I haven't had a single problem with this run so far, because I'm that good. You and I are both gods at what we do. Just defeat two electrodes on the card. No, I'm humble as fuck. Alright, so Fat Body's reward for helping us out earlier is to just be the designated cut slave. What a guy. Man, these items are fucking terrible. Man, these items are fucking terrible. Alright, we're gonna go out of our way for Headbutt. I want Headbutt over, uh, Pin Missile. 
Alright, elixir, another good item. Obviously using something like an elixir and a healing item is faster than using a Pokemon Center. So, the more of those we find, the better. So, Pin Missile at this point in time really only helps us with like... Celebi and Executor, otherwise we're gonna do more damage with other moves. So we're definitely gonna teach Headbutt. I should have taught Headbutt right there and then. Disregard. Uh, Focus Band might be a decent desperation item to put on if things go south. You never know how difficult uh, Red's going to be. Now, we don't need this. <clears throat> this is a bingo move, so this is Sweet Scent. Like, it's guaranteed to be Sweet Scent. Uh, I'm picking it up just for the sake of having money. Because money is always good. Money makes the world go round. I'm also going to go slightly out of my way here to uh, grab this item, just in case uh, it's a good money item. It's a decent money item. Good stuff, good stuff. In a full game run of this, I really, really, really want to... Uh... Oh, also, for those of you that don't know, you could do this. Uh, in, a, in a full game run, I really, really want to have proper money because I'm going to buy a ton of X items. Casually, a lot of people don't use X items, but X items are really, really good because they boost your stats and it makes some fights that are normally impossible or very difficult, very possible. I don't think we have enough money to shop as much as we want to right now, but uh, we'll we'll check it out. I'm also going. I'll show. I'm also going to check out the TMs here because there might be some good ones. Uh, let's see. We don't need that. 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 I'm um, gonna sell you. Gonna sell you. All right. That's pointless. And by pointless, I mean that's amazing. Um, the problem with that... We're gonna grab it anyway, so that's Swords Dance. Uh, the problem with that is we're already probably committed to being Special Attack. So that only gives us one physical move to work with, unless I switch. Uh, actually... Um, we do have Rock Slide. We do have Pin Missile. I don't know if I would prefer Ice Beam or Thunder. I mean, Thunder Punch is less power than Ice Beam. But Rocks... Rocks also cover a lot that Ice would cover. So if we're gonna commit to Special, then... I think what I'm gonna do is... Alright, we're not gonna teach Sword Sands quite yet. I'm gonna think about this. Because the Kenya might be good, and the Kenya is actually a really good choice if it's runnable. Which I should have waited to teach Headbutt. But if the Kenya is runnable, then we switch to it no matter what, because it gets boosted experience, so it's gonna get levels faster, and it's gonna get stronger a lot faster. That's not a good start. That's a horrible start. You suck. Alright, well... Well... Hmm. I think... I'm really thinking here. I don't know if I want to switch to... The Sword Dance is really good. Sword Dance is really, really good. But Ice Beam Thunder Punch is really, really good coverage, but our special sucks. But I did just buy X specials. Our physical move set would be headbutt rock slide. Eventually it'd be strength. I do want to teach surf. Actually, you know what? I got a hot little strat. We're gonna keep swords dance for now. I got a hot little strat. Y'all like this. This, this is gonna be good. It's gonna be a hot strat. 
hot. Emphasis on the th I hate this Kingdra, it sucks. Good lord. No, it's gonna... It's gonna be super duper hot. You're gonna love this. Like, it's, it's gonna be so worth it, too, when I pull this off. Like, you won't believe how good this is gonna be. Maybe the most amazing thing on the planet. Um... Flinch? Freeze? Just punch him in the face, he deserves it. Sulking has more special defense, so it might just be worth the headbutt anyway, but we're just gonna Thunder Punch. Alright, no, it's not gonna be the Roamer. It's not gonna be like a Rage Shiny. You guys aren't- you guys aren't prepared for this. Also, this Kingdra's ass! <laughs> Holy moly. No, no, this is gonna be good, this is gonna be good. A couple of you might already know what I'm gonna do, but I'm not- I'm not gonna say what I'm gonna do until you see it. That's Thunderbolt. I think I teach that yet. TBQ honest. Alright, so here's the deal. We got some hot tech. That that was this is all RNG manipulation, I promise. We got some hot tech coming up. You're not you're not gonna believe it. In in about ten minutes, you're gonna be like, wow! Keys are on such a god gamer. Like, you're not going to believe how hot this strat is. Ten minutes? Ten minutes right? Ten minutes should be right. Maybe. Who knows? We'll see. We'll see. It's not- it's not gonna be the Gyarados. It's not gonna... No, I have- I have the strat to end all strats. It's not gonna be the Shucky. Y'all are thinking too small brain. You gotta think big brain. You gotta think big booty. This is- this is Dr. Fatbody stream. Have you not seen that banner? You gotta think bootylicious. You're not thinking bootylicious. You're thinking poopy. Which I guess technically comes from the booty, but yeah, you know what I mean. He's gotta believe. Press one if you believe. No, it's not gonna be the Eevee. Big brain thinking. If you're the Eevee, then I'd go back right now and then teleport back. No, it's not gonna be the Eevee. Like, you guys are in for a world of joy. A oh, man's the joy of painting. Oh, dear God. Who's ready for Bob Ross? We're gonna Bob Ross this. No... No mistakes here. Just happy little accidents. No, it's not gonna be Romer into trade. Galaxy Brain. Think Galaxy Brain. It's also probably a really, really terrible idea, but that's, that's beside the point. Mother... Fucker. You know, I've... <laughs> I've always wanted to buy one of those Bob Ross starting kits. Um... And like, do a stream where I try to follow one of his tutorials. I, I always thought that would be fun. 
I think that'd be dope as hell. That that might be one of my sub incentives in the future for my stream. I think it's a dope idea. Press one if you think that's a dope idea. Wow, who's this no fun person that's pressing two? Gotta include Kiza Bay. She can be the easel. You know, that's normally a hyper potion in vanilla, so this game's bullshit. Also, uh... Gonna teach Surf. Like I said, though, these are going to be the most galaxy brain strats you'll have ever seen in your life. Give it another, like, five minutes. Ten? Five or ten. And, you know, the thing about me saying that these are galaxy brain strats is they're probably not gonna pay off and it's gonna be fucking miserable. But it's okay! We're here, we're here, we got this. You're not gonna die. Not even close. Ah. Uh. Alright, I don't know if I want to do Galaxy Brain Strats anymore. I think I want to stick with this Kingdra. <laughs> um. Hmm. 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 Should have kept Rock Slide. Hmm. 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 Aw. Dropped her bone. Oh, give me a sec, my dog dropped it. I'm a good dad. Nope. Nope. Okay. Alright, so... So let daddy weave the tale of how... This was not the galaxy brain strat I was talking about, and now I'm really glad that it wasn't. This game's stupid. No, so some of you know what I'm gonna do, but a lot of you don't. It's gonna be dope. It's gonna be some of the dopest shit you've ever seen in your life. Like, think... Oh my god. Alright, well, fuck me, I guess. So, think... It, it's on such a level of dope, imagine if Fat Body didn't get bodied earlier and he actually won. That's how dope this is gonna be. Alright, you're probably not gonna die, so I'm gonna go for the flinch. Flinch did not work. <laughs> what kind of randomizer? Now some people don't know you can skip this. You can skip that trainer. It's kind of funny. Uh, we'll throw this on you just in case you die, I guess. I'm gonna use the dex. No, no, no. You'll, you'll see. You'll see. Like... My god gamer status is like all all the way outside of the, the realm of this webcam that you see, but it's gonna go through the roof, and the neighbors are gonna complain. 
They're gonna see a galactic dick, and I'm just gonna be like, yeah, that's me. <laughs> When's it coming? You know, I keep saying five minutes, so let's just keep saying five minutes. It oh, It'll happen, I promise. That is shit, though. The best pocket monster ever. Croc and nah, more like Croc of P. <laughs> Got him. That's one dead sheep. Alright. Alright. You shall soon see. You shall soon see. Please don't. You shall soon see. I promise it'll be worth your wait. We're so, we're so, we're so, we're so gonna do the most gal galaxy thing ever. I cannot speak right now. My English is subpar. It's glowing because it's trying to do sky attack. <laughs> what a fucking nerd. Alright. Galaxy brain play is about to happen. It's about to happen. It is about to happen. Missed. Alright. We're gonna heal real quick. Huh, I wonder why he's withdrawing the Hitmonlee. Willikers. So that is City Escape Skip, and you skip halfway through the. Sell it. Want to rip off? All right, that's fine. Okay, apparently it's shiny because the the sun is reflecting off of it slightly differently. Alright. What do you mean you're not dead? Man, this Kingdra's ass! I'm not confident in my plan anymore. Oh, this is gonna be rough. It might not be worth it. Nah, it'll totally be worth it. Now, does Ecritique sell repels? I don't remember. Alright, now since this is speed choice, I mentioned earlier that I turned off the Team Rocket sequences. So he gave us all the items that are required to tick off flags to advance the game. So we don't have to go to the Rocket Hideout, we don't have to go to the Tower, uh, and he gives us stuff like the Clear Bell and, you know, all this different stuff. I'm gonna check the Mart real quick. So that means we can access a bunch of areas earlier than we should. Alright, well, we're just gonna do that. Um... No repels is kind of crap. That's fine, we'll deal with it. 
So, we're not normally allowed here yet. But we're here. So we're given the clear bell, which means we have access to Suicune. Which is a level 40. Alright. But wait! There's more! We also have access to Tin Tower because of another item that we get early. Oh, that's actually a good opportunity to set up. We get the Rainbow Wing early. You know what that means? ho is available. You know what level ho is? 60. So let's hope to God that ho isn't some shithead. Oh, Again, shithead. Oh. Flinch. Ha! Fun fact, Earthquake does double damage on anybody that uses Dig. <laughs> you suck. Well, you know... Oh dear god! Um... Now we're fine. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. So, uh, we're fine. <laughs> we're fine. We're- we're fine! We're fine. Calm down, chat. We're totally fine. We're so fucked. We're fine. Hit yourself. You gotta be kidding me. Hit yourself. You gotta be kidding- you. We're fine. We're fine. Hit yourself. Good. Good. Bad. Hit yourself. See? Bad. Bad. How much did he do? We're fine. Crit. Thank you. Good. See? We're fine. We're fine. We're fine. Chat, calm the fuck down, we're fine! Oh my god! You guys are fucking nuts. It's okay, it's fine. It's fine, I said. It's fine. It's fine. This was not worth the time. It's fine! Okay, fine. It's fine. It's fine. See, look. We just got one more fight, followed by one more wild poke, followed by one more wild poke. What can possibly go wrong? Hmm. Uh... I'm gonna do this. <laughs> okay, uh... I'm gonna do this. We're fine. We're fine. See, look at that. We're hit yourself. We're fine. We're fine. I learned Bubble Beam. Great. Doesn't fucking matter. We have Surf. You suck ass. That sucks. <laughs> <coughs> no. And then I flinched him. Damn it. And then I flinched him. Damn it. And then I flinched him. Good. We're fine. See, look at- look at that! Why am I so good at video games? I just- That's why I make the big bucks on Twitch. Like- it's a gift. What can I say? Darude! 
Taka taka da taka 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 da taka 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 da taka 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 da taka 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 da. So we're catching this not because we're running it, but because, <laughs> boy howdy, we're running into a level 60 soon, and that's probably gonna kill us. Also, we're probably gonna run into a bunch of wild encounters because I did not buy enough repels, and I thought I could buy repels elsewhere. We cannot. I was incorrect. Hopefully our encounters aren't too frequent. And hopefully the Ho-Oh doesn't suck. Because if the Ho-Oh sucks, then man did I just waste everyone's time. Yeah, this is uh, affectionately referred to in my community as a Nuggy Tower because I made a bet in a catch em all randomizer that I did not need to come here to catch them all. And good ol' Alta Biscuit, that's twitch.tv slash Alta Biscuit, bet me chicken nuggets on whether I'd go or not. So I've refused to come here for catch em alls ever since. To date, Alta Biscuit owes me 1.6 million nuggies. This encounter rate is atrocious, and I'm really sad. <laughs> Please stop with the encounters. My god, what is this movement? Oh my... If someone in chat correctly guesses what this is going to be, then I will donate $50 in your name. We'll sit here for one whole minute. I hope you don't mind, Fat Body, but we'll sit here for one minute. We'll see. <clears throat> I cannot keep up with any of what's going on in this chat. But yeah, $50 will go towards this marathon, and I will donate it in your name, if you are correct. Otherwise, I uh, give that $50 to some person who's going to spend it on booze instead, and we all laugh. I right, got 20 seconds. I mean, you're right, Zant. All right. Who guessed Porygon? <laughs> Cause I sure fucking didn't. Oh man, this is awful. Uh, you're getting the ball, friend. This isn't good. This isn't good. This isn't good. Oh god, I wasted my time. Aww, oh, I'm gonna be sick. <laughs> Alright. Alright. He has Dig and Mud Slap. Let me tell you how not good that is. Um. What else do you have, friend? <laughs> All right. Five, six minutes of effort.
Oops. The more I just sit here and think about the mistake I'm making, the sadder I get. It's fine. It's fine. You want to know why it's fine? Because in one level will be a Porygon 2. And Porygon 2 is actually a pretty decent pocket monster. We're about to get Stab Strength. Um, we're going to teach Surf to it. We're, uh... I'm going to cry a little on the inside. Oh god, I'm broke. Oh god, I'm so broke. Um, I can teach a T-Bolt. Uh... Bike Shop would never, ever proc here. Ever, ever. Man, now I wish I kept Ice Beam. So we got early strength, so I could teach strength. You know, <clears throat> let me share something with you, all you guys that are in our fat bodies chat right now. I bet you dollars to donuts that there are people in my stream right now that are talking and not reading the title of my stream, so they look like dum dums. I actually won't teach Surf yet. <clears throat> See, I wish that's what we got. <laughs> All right. All right. So, uh, <laughs> uh, 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 um, <laughs> I can't fucking believe that's what the ho -oh was. Uh, what is this? <laughs> Captain Crunch's oops, all legendary birds. The next one's gonna be a Moltres. Not quite. Yeah, we beat Jasmine, let's go. Alright, we'll get to level 61 in Chuck's gym, probably. Probably. Ow. That sucks. Be a rare candy. Ha <laughs> ha! That doesn't help at all! Alright, this is frame perfect. Damn, I'm good. I, I, I don't know how I do it, guys. I just do. Like, when a man loves a woman, a child is born. And sometimes that child is destined for greatness. And boy, are they disappointed that this is my job. Press 1 if you're having a good time. Press 2 if you know I'm not. <laughs> Alright, so the good news is since we're over-leveled as hell, our stats are pretty good. We have Stab Strength, so it changes from 80 power to 120 power. For those of you not in the know, STAB stands for Same Attack Type Bonus. 
So this Porygon's actually pretty dece. When it becomes a Porygon 2, it'll be decenter. Perhaps the most decentest of all. That is gonna be a dead Corsola. Ahem! <coughs> now then. I don't really have anything to say. Because I'm just 1 billion percent disappointed right now. Until this thing evolves, I'm just sad. The audio might be out of sync because this is a stream capturing a stream. I am currently streaming on twitch.tv slash keyzeron and it is being captured and put up on twitch.tv slash doctor underscore fatbody. Friendly reminder, we are doing this to help raise funds for some of our friendos that want to be at GDQ. I'm actually surprised that died. Genuinely surprised that died. I I certainly was not expecting it, and I don't think anyone else was. <coughs> Die, medic. <laughs> All right, give me a decent poke. Good. That's a decent poke. Alright. Porygon 2 coming up. Now we're gonna be fantastic. So because this is a randomizer, it helps you from being locked out of evolutions that you normally couldn't do single player. So Porygon usually evolves by putting a upgrade on it and then trading it to another gold, silver, or crystal cart. Uh, because this is randomizer, it evolves at level 30 instead. So now we have a pretty solid pocket monster. Pretty solid pocket monster, boy howdy. <clears throat> Do I teach fly to it though, I wonder? Congrats, fat body. You're gonna help us fly. Since we already did all that stuff, we just end up here right off the bat. It's pretty nice. That was awkward timing. So, because all spinners are rotators, that trainer to the upper right, he's he's infamous. His name is Douglas. Um, I don't know why they thought it was a good idea to put a spinner on an ice puzzle, but they did. <clears throat> he has three Pokemon, whereas this this girl only has one. So if I do it this way, I don't hit him. But because he's a rotator, you automatically hit him if you approach him from below. Because you'll hit him, and he won't hit you right away. But then on the turn frame to go right, he will hit you. So the fastest way through this gym in a randomizer like this is exactly what I just did. Go up, fight what looks like an optional who only has one Pokemon, as opposed to trying to dodge him. Failing to dodge him and fighting three. <clears throat> that thing is dead. That was a sizable amount of experience for how low level it was. But yeah, I'll actually I'll actually show you what I meant. Right here. So if you approach him from below, on the turn, he hits you. So, he's just straight up unavoidable unless you do the movement that I did and hit the girl instead. Now, this is a purposeful bonk, because if I don't bonk on him and I try to pass him, then uh, I hit him frame perfectly. If I bonk on him, then I pass him frame perfectly.
Now, something you might have noticed, I did this in Ilex Forest, I did it in Union Cave, and I just did it here in Ice Path. So, if you notice, I take four steps before I cast my Repel. So what's interesting, and this applies to Vanilla too, this isn't just a randomizer thing. What's interesting about Gen 2 is the first three full steps that you take, so that includes the fourth tile when you first enter, um, so you have immunity from encounters. So by waiting to cast my Repel like that, it gives me maximum benefit. Same case there, too. Like, I was able to do four tiles before I cast it. That is frame-perfect movement. Man, I'm just- I'm so good at video games, like, I don't- I can hardly contain just how skilled I am. My dick is massive right now. Boy, howdy, let me tell you. Alright, we're gonna get this TM. Because I kinda do want a better moveset. <clears throat> The biggest, dickiest plays. Alright, now, I'm, I'm also doing something right now that you can't do outside of the speed choice ROM. So you normally can't go through that without beating Jasmine. Like, I can't even enter this gym until I beat Jasmine, because I can't, I can't get past, uh... There's a guy that blocks you in Mahogany Town. Dragon gym with dragon, what the hell. <clears throat> so... In Speed Choice, since I turned off the rocket sequences, I have the items that count everything as flagged. So, in this case, I'm able to come here early, and it benefits you to come here early. It's a really silly benefit. It benefits you to come here early for one reason and one reason only. You save a phone call. So it saves like a tiny bit of time. Also, I'm really sorry for coughing a lot. I got something in my throat. <coughs> Use this elixir real quick. Why, yes, all my constant talking about randomizer probably means this is indeed a hack of some sort. Good looking out. See, now that this is a Porygon 2, my play looks fantastic. <laughs> but prior to that... Uh, uh. I mean, the Porygon got through everything, it killed everything. I still would like another move. I picked up that TM and didn't even look at what it was. Um, we'll look right now. Cross Chop. No. Maybe. No. Maybe? No. Yes? No. Ah, uh, but I mean... No, but... What's that? But... Although... No. However... No. Unless... No. On the off chance... Swords dance once. Oh, well, now we're double swords danced and status. What a guy. I want that move. Uh. Uh. 
Huh? No, cross shot the shit. But... No. Did you just use the pen? <laughs> I saw a cloud just travel in front of me. Solar beam! No. Yeah, so another thing the speed choice removes is we don't have to go to the dragon's den now, so we're done. We already got the badge. I don't have to go back there. So go team! High five! That fucking hurt my hand. So we gotta climb the tower again. The nice thing about if you've ever played the Heart Gold Soul Silver games, once you go through this tower once, uh, there's a there's an elevator, so you don't have to climb it a second time. However, us 90 kids didn't get to experience that, you spoiled ass millennials. We had to walk up again. I had to walk uphill three miles back and forth to school, okay? Specific movement there to save on frames, specific movement here for the frame perfect dodge. Easy. I'm <laughs> just. <laughs> Cod Gamer Keys are on, does it again. Esports Keys. Noble's number one Final Fantasy 14 streamer. Fuck. <laughs> Fuck. Easy. <laughs> Alright, Jasmine's gonna be a cakewalk. This is Shackled Jasmine. Jafar 1. Why does everybody have a dragon egg? <clears throat> How does he do it? Raichu, more like Daichu. <laughs> Uh, Prime Ape, more like Grime Ape. <laughs> Man. Daddy received the mineral badge. Please, for the love of God, give me like Earthquake or Double Kick. Crab Hammer. Now here's a fun fact, <clears throat> because we don't have to go to Claire's little Dragon Den mini quest, we don't need to teach Whirlpool. So let that sink. The vanilla game only needed Whirlpool once to actually beat it. Like, I mean, obviously you need Whirlpool to get the Whirl Islands and to get some other items, but you literally only need it once for plot purposes. And since we don't have to do that now... Also, that movement was just so I could dodge her cleanly. Also, welcome to Kanto. We here. We did it. Go, boys. This guy's blind. I don't know why I did that movement. I don't remember how she rotates, so I'm going to assume... There we go. Oops. Oh my god. All part of the plan. All part of the plan, that. God, I'm so good. Weedle. 
Hell yeah. You know, I think I forgot to force things to fully evolve at a certain level, so we might have like a red with... Like a Pichu, I didn't even think about that. I may have done goofed. Ah, whatever, who cares. There is actually RNG Manip in this game. You're seeing none of it right now. If you watch SGDQ next month and watch me play Pokemon Crystal Any% Percent Glitchless, you will see RNG Manip. I want that. Yo, if Weedle was the level 60, you bet your sweet ass- what the hell? You bet your sweet ass we'd run it anyway. There are a lot of RPG games that use manipulation. Because not using manipulation is just a recipe for getting screwed by RNG. And that's not fun. I, for one, prefer to play the video game. Every Pokemon game up to Generation 6 has some form of manipulation. Let's see what I can afford. Alright, that'll do. Alright, so that Max Elixir we picked up earlier is going to come in clutch, especially since we're probably only using Strength. There aren't going to be too many things that outspeed us because of our level, so I don't have to X-Speed too often. Uh, Gen 2 technically does have D-Sum, but it doesn't work the way that it does in Gen 1. Gen 3 also technically has D-Sum, but it also doesn't work the same way. Is there IRL manip? Yes. Like, watch this. If I throw this in the background, you're gonna hear a woman scream. <laughs> Don't worry about it. Nope. <laughs> Fool. <laughs> oh man, I'm fucking hilarious. <laughs> Dab on the hater. Burr, 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 burr. <laughs> What's the matter, Bridget? Ah. Uh, mm, this is a randomizer. Which is why I'm using this Porygon. Vanilla Crystal is ran with Totodile into Raikou. Man, this Elite Four is easy. It's like I caught a level 60 when I should only be like level 40 right now or something. Goodness. Yo, Entei was cheeks. Iron Tail Miss, dead to Misty. Yeah, that sounds fucking fun. Oh. Dawn Fan used Twitch chat on me. Damn it.
Now, a funny quirk about Gen 1 and Gen 2, if a Pokemon faints, then a status doesn't take into account that turn. So, as you notice, we're poisoned, but I have not taken a single lick of damage. That's because I'm using Game Shark. Wow, what a cheater. You know what? Fuck it. You're a beefier boy now. Cheating is just manipulation, guys. Like, you're manipulating the game code. <coughs> Granted, you're using, a, you're using an external source to do it, but... Oh, he wants the thunder! I'll thunder bolt. Bye. Later, nerd. He outsped me. That's hilarious. Now I sure would love another move. Let's see, who gives me TMs from here? I did skip a bunch of TMs too. But let's see, we could go to Celadon. Um, Erica gives us a TM. Janine gives us a TM. That's it. Huh. Um... Huh. So when I was a kid, I didn't realize that was a Dragonair on top of the statue. I thought it was a hand doing this. This is an outrage. Q Boner. I mean, I could also get that. I could do Celadon Mart. But I'm just talking from leaders. There's only two. My choices are limited right now. That is one dead ghastly. Also, <laughs> no levitate because Gen 2. Oh, no. Um, I don't think that dies. Just kidding, I'm a god. Ah! What? What the hell is this? Why does Lance have a dragon? See, Porygon's better than Kingdra. Just proved it. Easy game, easy life. I mean, like, how, how does he do it? Now that you know this IRL Manip, how can you get speed choice IRL? So, you hop into your vehicle of choice, and you just slam on the acceleration and go fast through everything. Alright, so we beat the Elite Four. Uh, this is this is fun little content. I actually had a couple of friends that didn't realize you could go to Kanto. Because it, it doesn't real like, I mean like, oops. If you don't pay attention to what he says, then, you know, you don't really know you could travel there. Now, I do gotta go to Goldenrod real quick. <clears throat> I did not pick up the radio card, and boy is that important. I am not going toward the radio card at all. What the hell? Alright, there we go. So the only way you can get past the Snorlax in Kanto is if you have the radio card. I didn't really have an opportunity to grab this. I could have grabbed it earlier, I guess, but you know... It kind of slipped my mind, because I was too busy thinking about whether we stick with the Kingdra or not. In the end, we did not stick with the Kingdra. This is one of the best tracks in the game. My favorite is Ice Path, personally. But this is like a top five track. 
The soundtrack in this game in general is just fabuloso. For those of you that didn't know, that's a uh, that's a uh, Hindi for good. So this guy is like, he's taking a break without being allowed to- WHY DOES EVERYONE HAVE A FUCKING DRAGON- So he's taking a break without taking a break, or without being allowed to take a break, so we gotta beat him up in legalized cockfighting to make him go back to work. So, uh, you know. HA! Oh! HA! Oh! Oh boy. I really wish we had, like, Double Kick, or Earthquake. Alright, so, you know, we have- we have eight more badges to get and all that stuff, right? Like, we have- we have an entire region to explore. We'll be done in about 25 minutes. So this little girl, like, got lost and something or another, and uh, Grandpa got scared. He gave us a coat that's too heavy for our little ten-year-old girl body frame to wear, so, you know, the, the, the words. Alright, now here, here's, here's some sick speed tech. It's in vanilla as well. It's hilariously funny. You fly from vermilion to vermilion because it's faster. Go team! Alright, I'm gonna grab Piss Kick real quick and see if it's any good. The Earthquake. Daddy wants Earthquake. Mim- I just want another move, man. I just want another move. Also, some of you might have noticed, if you're not familiar with Pokemon speedrunning in general, if you notice, a lot of times I'm going slightly out of my way to talk to an opponent, as opposed to letting them get the exclamation point and walk to me. <clears throat> unless, unless you see otherwise, like, unless you see me get an exclamation point on purpose, um... Talking to them is faster than letting them see you and then walk to you, because they walk kind of slow and, you know, there's the frames wasted during animations and whatnot, you know, so on and so forth. Blah, blah, blah. Something, something, execution. Something, something, I'm a god. Something, something. Also, every now and again you'll see me activate an HM from the menu, as opposed to just pressing A on the field. That's because I'm already in a menu, and it's slightly faster to do it that way. It's those tiny little differences that save you, like, a grand total of, you know, like, five seconds throughout the run. Five seconds in what's normally, like, a, you know, three-and-a-half-hour run. That's, a. Uh, that's how you do it. Go, go speedrunning. God, I love video games. Now here's another thing that some people didn't realize casually, and when I first started speedrunning this game, I also didn't realize it. Then somebody told me I was wasting literally a minute. So that rocket! You can just ignore him. Bye. Easy. Easy game. Easy life. I'm so good at video games. It's just... It's incredible. It's incredible. I know, some of your minds are blown right now, but don't worry, I'll continue to blow you... away. Link.
Now, normally I would use something like Strength if I know that it kills, so I skip that it's super effective text, but one, we have instant text anyway, and two, um, since I only really have one viable move right now, <laughs> uh, <laughs> I don't want to keep going to the center, that's really slow. Yes, that is also in vanilla, you don't need to fight that guy. He is literally just there to waste your- this is absolutely gonna outspeed me. JK, I'm a god. <laughs> Man, if only Alta Biscuit were in here. He'd be happy with what I'm running. He wouldn't be pleased with the moveset, but he'd be happy with what I'm running. Now, not the fight that I'm about to get into, but the fight after. For the longest time, it was my favorite fight in the entire Glitchless run. And the biggest reason why it was my favorite fight in the entire Glitchless run was the old route, you would just pick Totodile as your starter, and you just run the Feraligator. Um, and I always found it kind of interesting. The next fight has Nidoking. Now, if you're not familiar with Pokemon speedrunning, Nidoking is the Pokemon that you use in red and in yellow for speedrunning. So I found it really kind of like a full circle thing that as a Feraligator you fight the Nidto King. So it's like he's kind of, you know, you know, to be the man you gotta beat the man kind of deal. However, this is Randomizer. This is not a Nidto King. It's a Slowbro. And Slowbro can, Slowbro can die. Fuck his shit. Ass bitten fuck. Bound diggity. I'm running her, her, her. Anybody else notice that Alakazam's mustache, even as a female, is super glorious? Because it's pretty glorious. That's like the eighth Dragonair we've seen. What the shit? Dude, Nidoking strats are so easy compared to Blastoise strats, though. You don't have to use Blizzard. Well, I mean, now you do. Never mind. I take it back. Pokemon speedrunning's weird, man. Pokemon speedrunning is weird. Alright, so, Misty's on a date. We ruined the date. It's pretty rude of us to do, right? And she's like, oh, come fight me. But we'll fight her later. Not only did we ruin her date, but I'm gonna make her wait. We're gonna beat up Erica instead, because we can. I mean, like, what kind of bitch? <laughs> I ruined her date and I just leave anyway. Coughing on the card. Alright, we have 16 PP, not counting Dig. 15 now. The 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2. Hmm. If I use a single Dig. Then we can make it all the way through Sabrina without having to heal. Well, there's the single dig I'll use. Oh, yeah. Also, she's a very blue lady. You ever notice that? Look how blue she is. And all of a sudden, she's just ugly blue. Now, I think this dies? Yeah. So good at video games. Alright, I know this dies. Ha! It taught Cross Chop. What kind of moron even considers Cross Chop?
<laughs> what an Adito! By the way, that's Ugandan for not smart person. Man, it's like having an over-leveled Pokémon makes the game a breeze. God bless. I could've used Dig. Save some strength PP. Now I have to use Dig! Oh boy. I don't know if you die. Boy, howdy! So Dig sucks in Gen 2. Dig in Gen 1 is fantastic. So, Dig in Gen 1 is the same power as Earthquake, so it's 100. It just takes two turns instead of one. Dig in Gen 2 is 60. It's shit. Nightmare. Another bad TM, what a surprise. That's upsetting. Alright, now now we'll beat up. Now we'll beat up. Misty here. So you dodge all her trainers by going around and surfing to her, it's kinda hilarious. <clears throat> Pretty high quality speed tech. I would say. That Magneton's so dead. That Magneton is like Mondo dead. Like, there's dead? Wait, what kind of random- Why does she have a Lapras? Alright, you know- No! She sure does have a Lapras. This game sucks. This game's bad. I love how she's blind. Like, you literally just bike in front of her. He's blind, too. She's dizzy. Alright, I want Zap Cannon to be, like, Rock Slide, or Double Kick, or Drill Peck, or Earthquake, or, like, any of that stuff. Encore! I did... I did just double swords dance. Yeah, okay, and it's crit. Okay, you're gone. Y'all ready for this? Damn it! <laughs> That's not what was supposed to happen. Man... That's a minute. 
All right, I'm trying to remember what the best way to pass Tom is without stopping. Aha! Fun fact, I've never done that before. I use now as the opportunity to test that. All right, so depositing and withdrawing a Pokemon heals them. If you were wondering. So uh, that was just a heal without entering a center. Now I am gonna go out of my way here. You don't do this in a normal run. But we have instant text. So we go through this. It's like a, a 10 second detour. 10, 15. We get a free rare candy. And that's not randomized. So... Any gifted items aren't randomized. So like the TM number from all the gym leaders, if you've noticed so far, they've all been the same, because it's a gifted item. Now granted, the TMs are randomized unless they're field moves, but the physical item given to you is not randomized. So like, you'll always get a miracle seed from the one guy outside of Violet. You'll always get a... Uh, you'll always get a rare candy from that person. You'll always get um magnet from the magnet girl, like that kind of stuff. There, nice. King's Rock, Mystic Water, Charcoal. There's a whole list. It, it would take far too long to list it all. Alright, we're fighting Super Saiyan Trunks, no big deal. I'm actually gonna go ahead and use Dig on this Vulpix. Because I don't want to center again until towards the end. We're actually gonna use Dig on this Charmeleon. Cause I ha! What kind of idiot teaches Cross Chop? Jesus, what a nerd. What a fucking loser. Like, who does that? What a digital dummy. Yeah, I want to conserve my strength usage as much as po- ow. As, eh, as much as possible. That way we don't have to center, we save a little bit of time. I want to get this done so we can get that next run up. You guys can get some more variety in your content. This guy got in the way like an asshole. Those are some big eggs, boy howdy. I have Swords Dance. I don't want Surf. I want a physical moveset. This game's a breeze, man. Game's a breeze. This should die to a T-Bolt. It did die to a T-Bolt. I'm really good at video games. Praise me, revere me. I want a Tauros. That Mankey's to- Oh! That Mankey's totally dead. No? Because there's no physical special split in Gen- Aw, oh, that's not the move I wanted. There's no physical special split in Gen 2. So I would literally just be making my moveset worse. Why does he have a Kabuto? What kind of randomizer? 
Good old weed number. I love six. I I love smoking sixty nine. I mean, what? Clean as fuck movement. So clean. It's like I'm good at video games or something. Damn. How, how does he do it, man? How does he do it? God, instant text is a godsend. It's the size of his massive deke! I sure have big ball. Alright, so this is... This is Blaine, who cares? Just... Swords dance and flex on him. Easy. E... Z. That might outspeed. It did not outspeed. E... Z. That might not die. It died. Easy, man. Goodness gracious. How does he do it? All right, let's see if true love prevails. There are two NPCs up here. Sometimes the guy walks over to the guy and sometimes he doesn't. Does true love prevail today? Nope. All right. So this is silly. Um, in Gen 1 and 3, that bottom right, Janine right there, that's where Koga is. And in Heart Gold Soul Silver, that's where Janine is. But in this game, for whatever reason, she's... Why does she have a crowbat? What kind of random... God, I hate video games so much. Video games suck. That's meowing. I have no idea how, like, I mean, I know we're over leveled, but I have no idea how this terrible, terrible moveset has done as well as it has. I'm, I'm in a state of perplex. One dead Omastar. Bye, nerd. So in a normal glitchless speedrun, whether it's for Alligator Route, Entei Route, or Raikou Route, you're in your low 60s by the time you get to red. So it's just, it's really weird for me to see that we're level 70. P2 has good stats. Gee, it's like I've made a tier list for bingo races and know that. That doesn't change the fact that this moveset's ass. Alright, so blue is an interesting increase in the curve. So every single Kanto leader up to this point in time, really, really nothing too impressive, but then all of a sudden you got you got a mid-50s person out of nowhere. We're gonna have to actually set up. Oh, that's shitty. So we're gonna go to. Oh. We're gonna go to plus four. Uh, 
Everything should die pretty easily. I'm hoping there's something I can use Dig on. He'll suffice. People tend to forget that Quillfish is part poison. I think he's part ugly, to be honest. Alright, so we have one more fight after this, and it's the end of the game. The next fight is Pocket Monster Trainer Red. Huh. You know, he normally has a Rhydon, so Rhyhorn's almost Rhydon, I guess. Pretty close. Pretty, pretty close, I would say. Pretty, pretty, pretty close. Also, I don't know what the fuck I was doing there. We just gotta talk to Oak. Oak will give us access to... to Silver Mountain and, you know, all that shit. He does not have an EV evolution in vanilla, no. Alright, normally you combine menus, so like normally you super repel there, but because I'm entering the center to heal, I don't want my step count to be off. Because, unlike smart casual players, we didn't go to Sprout Tower to get Flash. I gotta go through this next part in the dark, and I would really rather not go through that dark and have my repel wear off in a different area. Nice bonk. Nice bonks, man. High quality. Alright. Seriously not get it. Fucking A, dude. <laughs> These moves suck! Alright, well... We'll see if, uh... See if strength's enough. Rich girl Mike. Nice. I'm gonna X speed twice. Ouch. Oh, that, that was a crit? Alright, that's... Wow. This guy sucks. Alright, and for the sake of safety, we're gonna Swords Dance three times. We'll have max attack that way. There we go. Now, unless... Unless it's something that we can't physically hit, we should just win from here. Because Porygon's a beast. Oh no, it's Mew. Whatever will I do? He's dead. Easy fucking game, dude. Easy game. Look at- God, it's like I'm good at video games or something. Go me. Uh, Red has a Butterfree wolf. <laughs> this game's awful. Damn, I'm good. And... that's time. So another cool thing about speed choice is it gives you a bunch of these, like, player stats. So, like, that's how much time in-game it took, all the time in menus and whatnot. We bonked a lot more than I like. Yeah, we did it. Go team. Also prepare for Echo, probably. What's up? Also prepare for Echo, probably. What's up? Homies? No, I'm gonna fix the. No, I'm gonna, I'm gonna fix, fix the Echo the... right now. I figured it out. All right, dude. But thank you for providing a uh, phenomenal run, man. Dude, it didn't matter about the time. It was hella enjoyable. Everybody in chat had a really, really good time.
mash those buttons, you know what I'm saying? Get you some brolies and a skull and, and you know, silky scully boy. Uh, so up next, we have Revenge of Shinobi by Bustard Man, followed by a uh, Digimon randomizer by Raikou. Definitely. And so, all right, guys, I'm going to get set up for uh, the next game. We will be back here in just a moment. Keys again, thank you very much. <laughs> 